everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and um, I'm a Disney fanatic. If you don't already know me, I'm going to, well, this is my get to know me video. So we'll get to know me a bit better today if you don't know me already. This is my first ever Q&A. I've never really done one on Instagram either, so I don't know why that is but I thought I'd do one in a longer vlog today for you all. And if you aren't already following me over on Instagram, uh, it's DisneyFan underscore nine. I'll put it down on the screen here and in the link below. I post daily. I love chatting to all like-minded people about Disney and Universal. I'm a Universal fan as well, Florida in general. So head on over there, give me a follow and a message if you want to and I'll be happy to reply to you. I generally also follow back anyway. So yeah, I'm quite happy to make you Disney friends along the way of this journey. So like I said, firstly and most importantly, I'm Lauren. I'm 31 years old and I'm a Disney fanatic. I live with my partner Jack and we live in a... Uh, house yeah I would say house small house we live in a small house in the southeast of Essex and my profession uh, qualification is a dental nurse he is a bricklayer if you wanted to know that primarily my channel is Disney based which is going to be jam-packed full of wonderful Disney content for you all I hope that you're enjoying the Disney vlogs already I've just uploaded my Walt Disney World series so if you haven't seen that already, the links will be down below and they'll be on obviously on the playlist on my channel. So go and check them out if you haven't done so. That trip is from November last year, so 2019. And that is my first ever vlog series. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty damn proud of it, to be honest. <laughs> and thank you for all the love and support already that you've already shown me on my new YouTube channel. I just, yeah. I can't even fathom how many of you make me so happy on a daily basis, so thank you. In my spare time, I like to do yoga. I like to do it maybe about once a week just to clear my head and obviously at times like this it's a bit harder. Um, the situation with COVID-19 is a daily struggle anyway, but I do try and, and keep it up, really, really do try. Uh, it's for your mental health and your mental well-being anyway, isn't it? So um, I also like to watch films, TV programs, and mostly Disney, mostly Disney of course. And I like to listen to music. So that would be from anything from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. I only really listen to music that's in the past. I don't really listen to current music apart from the rock bands that I know and love and we'll be discussing that in a little while anyway. So they're the basics I wanted to open up about myself before I begin to answer all of your questions. Now all of these questions have been sent in to me via my lovely friends on Instagram already. So thank you so much. I've had so many. I think I've had about 30. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to get through them in good time and I won't have to drag this vlog out for too long. Just thank you so much for all of your responses. I'm, I'm completely grateful and I'm, I'm grateful for the support and... I always love to support people myself, so it's always nice to see when it's being done to you too. Um, yeah, it's always appreciated. So, let us get on with the questions. The first one is from Disney Emma underscore. Hi, Disney Emma. And she asks, what's on your Disney bucket list? So I would say it would be uh, some of the VIP tours that are at Disney World. Uh, walking Walt, uh, walking Walt's footsteps, the fireworks boat cruise, the happily ever after dessert party as well. So they're the things from Florida, but I would love to go and visit all the Disney parks around the world. That would be definitely high on my bucket list. Okay, so the next question is from the lovely, or my lovely friend, uh, Natalie Jane Official. And she says, would you want to visit anywhere other than Disney World? Yes. I've been very fortunate in my childhood to actually visit a lot of the places around the world. I've been to Hawaii, I've been 
quite a few places in America, I've done quite a few cruises. Um, I think maybe places where I'd like to go, I'd like to go to Australia. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go because my mum was very ill and we actually had that booked. So we had to cancel it. I'm just trying to think of anywhere else. I'd love to go to Alani. I know that's Disney based, but obviously I want to go back to Hawaii. I have been before, so I'm very fortunate. I'd also love to go to Nashville and Memphis. They're on my list. So yeah, quite a few places, um, mainly in America. My heart lies there, really. Our Florida Adventures, hi guys. They say, your favorite offside food whilst in Florida. So if it counts that it's Hard Rock Cafe, I'd probably say that. I'm actually a pin collector as you can see. And I collect the pins from the Hard Rock Cafes all around the world. Every time I go to somewhere different, it's primarily the fact that I get to go to Hard Rock Cafe and I get to get a pin. So um, I'll be sharing my collections with you soon, hopefully maybe in another video. That might be on the horizon. I also trying to think I also love the Cheesecake Factory so if you compare some Hard Rock Cafe food and Cheesecake Factory dessert maybe or oh I love Panda Express Panda Express as well so combine those together they're probably my top three Hard Rock Cafe then Cheesecake Factory and then Panda Express because I am a sucker for a Chinese Chef Will underscore made it and they say what do you normally eat for dinner? Now we've got Hello Fresh that we've just got for the lockdown and it's actually proving to be really amazing. We love experimenting with all the food because we wouldn't usually have all of this stuff that's been sent to us so that's awesome. And the fact that we get to be a bit more productive with our dinners. So yeah, I think tonight we've got chicken chow mein. So that brings us back to my favourite food, which would be Chinese. So there you go. Uh, oh, and the lovely Nat and Tom at Two Please Vlogs. Hello. They've said favourite band slash artists. Favourite bands, which might not even be your cup of tea, guys. So sorry about that. Favourite bands would be Bon Jovi. I've seen them about six times. And Foo Fighters, I've seen them three times. So I would say they're my two favourite bands, the ones that I follow avidly, that I've been following for a very, very long time. So I'm mega fans of those. And Queen, so Queen as well. So that would have been my dream to see Freddie in the flesh. Favourite artists would be Freddie Mercury and David Bowie and Phil Collins. Phil Collins obviously, as you know, did a lot of the soundtracks to my childhood, like AKA Tarzan, Brother Bear. So I then got into his like solo stuff and I really liked it. So I've got quite a collection of his albums now. Two Please Vlogs also asked me if you could have any non-domesticated animal as a pet, what would you have? That's a good question. I'd probably say, it needs to be related to a cat because I love my my furry felines. So I would say tiger, tiger. Not a massive fan of arachnids or any kind of bugs. Reptiles are okay, but no, mainly anything that's fluffy and furry. Jungle Skipper Jamie asks, favourite thing you've ever done in Disney? I think you know, you know the answer to that question. It's meeting you. <laughs> It's meeting all of my lovely Disney friends. I think we have such a wonderful community and they're so supportive and so like they have your back and I've just made so many amazing friends that would like literally do anything for you. They check on me daily. They're just they're just so amazing and, and it's with like that love of Disney that we all have something in common. So I really do from the bottom of my heart like literally love all you guys so like thank you so much for making this journey possible and like enjoyable as well so thank you so much
Jungle Skipper Jamie said, favourite drunken memory. Not that I really want to recall anything from when I was drunk, but I think probably like Reading Festival in 2006, I'm sure that I fell off my chair, I fell backwards off my chair, and I think I've got it in film somewhere, like in the archives. If I ever do find it, I'll bring it out and tag you in it, or <laughs> tag some of you in it. What's your ultimate Disney day? Park, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and rides, etc. And that's from Ohana underscore magic, so thank you for that question, I like that one. My park day changes with my mood, but right now I think I'd fancy going to Animal Kingdom, I'm just trying to think, Animal Kingdom, get in there, get on Flight of Passage as soon as, if I don't have a fast pass of course. What else would I do? Go on Dinosaur, then go for breakfast at Tusker House, have a drink in the Nomad Lounge for a, um, a little stop off and some nice air conditioning. Honestly, if you haven't ever been to Nomad Lounge, you need to go. Um, yeah, so do have a little cocktail. Then maybe walk around Harambe Market. It's just like the vibe there is so awesome. I highly recommend like just taking a walk around there, looking at all the different Disney walls. There's quite a few there. Lunch would be Satuli Canteen because I haven't tried that yet. So that would be on the list. And then dinner would be at Yak and Yeti. Followed by an evening in Pandora and seeing it all lit up because that is just mind blowing. If you haven't done it already, it's absolutely mind blowing. You need to watch the film, you need to go to Pandora, all of the above, go and fly a passage. Yeah. Um, also, love Bugs Life and the Kilimanjaro Safaris, maybe at sunset. That would be a good one. So, yeah, that, that's what I would do in the day. Um, snacks, oh, they have um, a mac and cheese cart. Yes, I have a mac and cheese cart with pulled pork on top. That is a snack and a half. Um, Jenna at Meeting the Mouse said, are you thinking of becoming a DVC member? Now this is quite an interesting question because I know that most people like, I don't know whether they rate it highly that you're a DVC member and oh, like you must love it more. But I've always wanted to do a tour. So I would... I would primarily do a tour and see if it was for us. But I kind of know at the moment that it's not. There's a factor of things that it's not right for us at the moment. Number one being we don't own our own house. Number two being we're not really like... Our jobs are a bit, you know, up and down. And obviously with the pandemic as well, everything's going to be coming to a halt. Um... And I think being a DVC member is great if it suits you. If financially it doesn't work out for you, if you're maybe not a family or you're not going to go regularly enough, it is a waste of money. And don't get me wrong, I've been and stayed in the deluxe hotels before. I'm very fortunate that I went and stayed in Feridian, the Contemporary, Animal Kingdom Lodge. All of these places that all you lovely DVC members have been to. And although I appreciate becoming DVC members are absolutely amazing. It's not really on the cards for me at the moment. Never say never, but it's not on the cards for me at the moment. The one thing that I would like to become is an annual pass member. So I'm already an annual pass member for Universal Studios, which happened last year, which I'm really, really happy about. If I can use the annual pass this year, we'll see. Um, but yeah, to become an annual pass member for Disney World is really on the, the top of my list at the moment to do rather than becoming a DVC member. The Love of Disney says, how many times have you been to Walt Disney World and what other parks have you been to? So I've been to Walt Disney World 11 times. I first went when I was four and the, that's when the obsession started. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's when the obsession started, I would say. Um, I got the Disney bug. <laughs> I got the Disney bug. My first trip to Disneyland Paris was when I was two. So that holds a special place in my heart for me. Primarily it's my home park. And I've been to Disneyland Paris 15 times. I had a bit of a gap. So I had a 10 year gap 
going to Disney World because I couldn't actually afford it throughout my young adulthood. So instead I went to Disneyland Paris uh, maybe every two years. So yeah, that's where the 15 times has kind of overtaken the <laughs> 11 times of Disney World. I don't really like either any better than the other. But they like both hold special places in my heart for different reasons, like nostalgic reasons. Mrs. D L Reed 501, which is Donna. Hi Donna. Who is your favourite Disney princess and who is your favourite Disney Pixar character? That's a good one. I'm not really so much of a Disney princess fan. I don't know if you've noticed from my Instagram that I don't really post much about them. But if I was to pick, I'd probably say the original Snow White, because I'm a classics girl. I love Rapunzel too, so she would be up there. And I like Ariel, because Little Mermaid is my favourite film. So yeah. Who is your favourite Disney Pixar character? I would say Woody. Toy Story, Pixar films are my favourites. All of them, absolutely love them all. Love Forky, love, <laughs> just love everything about them. Woody's the original, Woody's my favourite. It's got a bit more of a personality about him. And I love the aliens as well, but yeah, I would say Woody. So Watson's do Disney say, what is your favourite Florida memory? I've got so many, but I'm gonna pick two out of the ones that I can like remember the most. And um, I'll, I'll insert some pictures when I'm talking about it as well here for you. Uh, so, first one is from when we went back in 2002 with my friend Natalie from school. We went to one of the character breakfasts with Winnie the Pooh. I think it was Crystal Palace actually. And we were mucking around with Tigger and Pooh and my dad was filming like his video camera. And he would be probably filming me or my mum. And then one of us like was stood there with the camera and I think I think it must have been my mum and as we were like taking pictures of the characters um one of them Tigger came behind my dad and like pounced on him and I like, was bouncing up and down and my mum got the photo of his reaction so I'll insert that now and uh yeah <clears throat> it's just priceless uh, action shots are the best anyway his reaction was just priceless and it just shows you how much my family loves disney and i think that's what it's all about it's all about the memories it's all about the nostalgia we are a disney family so yeah my mum loves it as well and it's just that whole feel of what you get from like how disney makes you yeah how disney makes you feel um uh, i just all, all the feels, all the nostalgia flowing back to me. That's, that's my first memory that I do remember quite well. My second memory would be from when we went back in 2017 because that was the first trip that I'd had in 10 years. We went for three weeks, we stayed at Pop Century. It was all on property, it was absolutely amazing. We, we spent most of the time with our friends, Linda and John, and we also went to, there you go, see the badge? Epcot's 35th anniversary, which was October the 1st, 2017. Um, yeah, it was just like the most amazing time, couldn't fault it, it was like, the best way to welcome myself back into Disney and it was Jack's first trip as well so it's a very memorable one I really did love that trip so much you could only ever have one Disney one snack at Disney what would it be that's from Donna again uh, Mickey's ice cream sandwich definitely Mickey's ice cream sandwich hands down the best Disney snack ever and I got quite a few in this time <laughs> in a week I got about four in so yeah definitely made made it up for the times uh, when I haven't been able to have them Steph, Steffi PB says, Christmas Christmas at Disney or Halloween at Disney? Definitely say Halloween. 
I'm a Halloween girl through and through. Christmas is okay, but I get like all the feels in Halloween. I love Mickey's Not So Scary uh, Halloween Party, and if you haven't ever been, you need to go. It's 100% like the best. I'd say the best. Not that I've ever experienced very merry Christmas party. We went to Orlando in November last year and Christmas had just started. So yeah, it's very beautiful. I love all of the decorations and you'll see it in my vlogs. I still like love it, but it's nowhere near as amazing as Halloween in my opinion. So you need to go at Halloween and hopefully I'll be able to go again at Halloween. Favourite Disney snack is the same. Mickey's ice cream sandwich. How are you both like in the office? <laughs> That's from Cuddle Buddy. Um, well, we did start watching The Office and then unfortunately Jack had already cancelled the subscription which I didn't know about so that's the end of that. <laughs> Unless we get it back at some point in the future then I don't know. We've got so many other things. We've got Disney Plus going on. We've got, which is amazing by the way, isn't it? We've got Netflix and I've got Sky so I do pay out for quite a lot and we had to let one go so Probably would have been that eventually. I'm just sad that I don't get to finish the office But yeah, the US office is, is really awesome. Yeah, check it out if you haven't already um, The two of us and the mouse say what's your favorite animal? So going back to Animals in general. I love anything furry anything feline so I'd probably say like yeah domestic cats Tigers, lions. Um, I love giraffes as well. Giraffes are cool. I'm not really fussy except for anything that like runs really quick, like a spider. <laughs> Vicky underscore plum eighty five. If you could bring back one closed down Disney attraction, what would it be? Ooh. I can't really choose one. Um, everything from my childhood. Let's go through them. Ellen's Energy Adventure, definitely. Body Wars, Cranium Command, anything in that festival centre. Just bring back the whole festival centre that is now, you know, not being used. It's just really silly. Hopefully they'll use it for something. Um, food Rocks, if you any of you know that, it was a bit silly, but it's part of my childhood. And Tarzan Rocks, which used to be where Finding Nemo was, but it changed in 2007. So check out some old YouTube videos, they're definitely on there. If you want to have a look at that, that's definitely a must-do for me. Well, it was a must-do. Not anymore, unfortunately. Um, my lovely friend Kelly, hi. Our Disney Life says, what's your favourite underrated Disney movie? Hercules. I think Hercules is so underrated, I don't know what's going on. If you haven't seen it yet, like, what are you doing with your life? Go and watch Hercules. Alan Menken does the music. He is the best songwriter ever. You need to go and watch Hercules if you haven't already. I also love Brother Bear and Tarzan for obvious reasons. Phil Collins did the soundtrack. The stories are amazing, they get me right in the field. If you could bring back one thing to the Disney parks, what would it be? Uh, so I've already t spoken about the attractions already. I would say the M McDonald's used to sponsor Disney World. I don't know whether you remember this or any of you remember this. But yeah, bring back the McDonald's carts. <laughs> so I'd get to have chips again and chicken nuggets. <laughs> would you like to visit every Disney park in the world or just the ones that you know and love? No, definitely on my bucket list are going around all of the Disney parks. Probably last would be Hong Kong, first would be Disneyland California, but I'd like to visit them all, definitely. Disney underscore, cake big underscore. If you could stay anywhere on property, where would you choose? Definitely the Grand Floridian. It is my aesthetic to a T. I know that all of you like Animal Kingdom Law. Yeah, I've stayed in quite a few of the like deluxe results, but definitely Grand Floridian has a place in my heart and I'd love to stay there again. Jack's is definitely the wilderness lodge we visited the bar the bar there back in 2017 and we went to what's the restaurant whispering canyon <laughs> whispering canyon cafe for dinner so yeah that's jack's one i do love the log cabins but it doesn't it doesn't give me the feels as much as the grand floridian for probably just nostalgic reasons really and she also asked when is your first when was your first trip to disney world it was when i was four 1990 hmm. was it when i was four 
no, I think I was five, 1994 uh, was my first Disney, uh, Disney trip to Disney World, but my first trip ever to a Disney park was when I was two in opening year of Disneyland Paris, 1992. Some people share that love of Disney with me from way back when, um, and yeah when it started it's when the disney madness started happily ever underscore edwards hi guys hi karen says what are your top three disney rides and why number one is soaring i can't go on coasters so if you watch my disney vlogs from back in november the magic kingdom one i hated seven dwarfs mine train with a passion um yeah pretty much cried <laughs> <laughs> did not like it at all and I know now that I just don't like coasters at least I've proved it to myself when I was brave I went on it but no never again so Soarin's like my kind of thrill ride I like motion simulators number two would be dinosaur same kind of thing I like the ride vehicle I like the concept of the ride and I like the dinosaur aspect of it I do like dinosaurs um did you ever grow up with the tv series dinosaurs comment below if you liked that TV programme, please, because, honestly, <laughs> part of my childhood, as well as home improvement. But we'll get on to these <laughs> in another vlog, because I could just carry on talking forever. And uh, number three, favourite ride is Peter Pan's Flight, purely for nostalgic reasons. My mum loved Peter Pan's Flight, and I do too. It's just so gives me all the feels when I go on it and you'll see from my vlog as well uh, Magic Kingdom vlog that yeah I get so like happy when I'm on it and it really makes me feel like my mum's there with me Nomi Noodles says what would your all time favourite character meet be and why it's always Mickey so that's we'll start with that uh, I have to meet Mickey on every single trip and he's my favourite Disney character anyway but my favourite meet in general was the talking Mickey, Magician Mickey. Back in 2017, when I first met him talking, my mind was literally blown. I'll see if I can try, um, put in a picture here. Like, literally, my mind was blown. Like, <laughs> my reaction is priceless. So, yeah, definitely. And we met him in um, Mickey's Not So Scary. So, that was another first. And it was just, like, the most amazing time. And his outfit was so awesome. So, yeah, definitely that. Uh, what's your favourite park in Walt Disney World? Definitely... Number one is Magic Kingdom. They've got some of my favourite rides there. And number two, close, close second would be Epcot. For the same reason, like when I walk in, like, for nostalgic value and just love Spaceship Earth. It's so pretty. Obviously, it's going through renovations at the moment. So we'll see what it's like when that's all done in 2021. Hopefully, it'll be done for the 50th celebration. Apart from Disney, where else would you like to travel to? And that's some Hetty Cherry Blossom. Thank you, Hetty. Um, yeah, like I said before, Hawaii, I think Nashville, Graceland. Yeah, I think they're like my top three again. I'd like to go back on the West Coast. I have never done Disneyland, California. Well, not that I know of. See, I've got, like, my memory's kind of blurred. So I've got some pictures from when someone went to Disneyland, California. But I think it's from before when I was born. So, like, nobody's ever really clarified that for me. My dad, like, my dad's memory's sort of, like, a bit blurred from around then. So, yeah. Um, as an adult, I'd like to go back to, or I'd like to go to Disneyland, California. Um, Magical Ease, when did your love for Disney start? I think it's when I exited the womb. <laughs> When I was born, <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Uh, I was taken to the cinema to see all the classics when I was little. The year after I was born, which was 1989, Little Mermaid came out. And I think probably from, from about then, I was always brought up with the films. And I went on my first trip to Disneyland Paris when I was two, so. Okay, last question. To Infinity and the Parks, ask 
at which point during travel day, travel day does it start to hear, hit home that you're really going to Florida? Travel day is the best, isn't it? Like, you all know, you all see the vlogs. Like, travel day vlogs are, like, the most watched vlogs. And, like, rightly so, for, <laughs> for all the right reasons. We all get really excited. Um, my excitement stem, well, my excitement starts the day before we go away. So... I take, I usually take the day off work to get like my hair and my nails done and then like do all the last minute packing and then once you've done that, <laughs> you go to bed, wake up in the morning if you do sleep at all because sometimes I don't even sleep where I'm so excited and you get up and, and it's, it's travel day so from the day before till the next day when you get to the airport it's even more exciting when you check in you can relax and then the only, the only thing is is that I don't like flying so I get very anxious on the plane but you know what it's all worth it isn't it and then when you get to the other end um you get to see the beautiful um Orlando International M Airport MCO and the smell when you get off that plane is like nothing you've ever smelled before i can't explain it if you've never been but it's got like a nostalgic smell to me it make it completely reminds me of my childhood and and that's what's amazing about it i think from my point of view it gives me so many feelings my feeling is pure emotion when i get off that plane like i literally feel my mum there I feel my dad there, I feel my family there, so um, it feels like home, it is really, although this is my home in the UK, it feels like my home is out there as well, so like, yeah, I try and go as many times as I can, sometimes it doesn't always work out, sometimes it does, so, you know, that's the beauty of Disney, you can have it at home, or you can have it in Florida, <laughs> um, yeah, so, that's my Q&A done. Thank you so much to everyone who's supported me so far in making these vlogs. I really appreciate everything that you do, all the likes, comments and shares. So if you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, comment below with any other questions that you have that maybe I didn't uh, fill you in on. I'd love to answer them and I always do generally comment back um, on everyone's uh lovely questions or comments yeah so i do generally reply it would really help me out if you did subscribe if you did like it and also uh subscribe for more content i'm going to be putting out way more content uh now that we're in lockdown hopefully do a disney world haul and maybe uh, some sort of trip announcement when i get something in the works and yeah i will be posting a lot more on this channel as well as the Disneyland Paris vlogs that will be coming up as of next week so tune in for those uh, it's a girls trip with my best friend from school it was our first Disney trip together our first holiday together so it was just honestly it was just absolutely amazing I went from Disney World straight into Disneyland Paris like two days later to celebrate my birthday so yeah you definitely need to head over and watch that next week when that goes live and uh, should be around 6pm again uh, I always choose that kind of time to upload unless you hear otherwise on Instagram so yeah and obviously head over and follow me on Instagram I usually give a follow back and I usually support your channel as well if it's YouTube so like, comment, subscribe to this video and uh, for all future content and I'll see you later in the next one bye guys into Disneyland Paris like two days later to celebrate my birthday so it's a must you need to must